Hello, this is Nick with nickscomputerfix.com and coolestcheaplaptops.com. Today I want to go ahead and give you a short video on how to start working with Windows Live Movie Maker. Okay, to begin with, once you download it and install Windows Live Movie Maker, go ahead and open it up. Once you have Movie Maker open, the first thing you want to go ahead and do is click here to browse for videos and photos or you can do the same thing up top on the ribbon uh, toolbar here and click on add videos and photos I want to go ahead and um, select a still photo of my dog Max and I'm going to click on open after selecting that and that still photo of my dog Max has been added to my storyline on the right hand side and on the left hand side in the preview pane I can see my picture of my dog Max. Okay I want to go ahead and add a video and I'm going to browse out on my computer and click on samples wildlife. Okay now wildlife video sample has been add it to my video project here on the right hand side in my storyline and I'm going to go ahead and add one additional photo click here again browse out on the pictures and I'm going to add snapshot okay now I've got two still photos and one video um, added to my storyline for my video project and talking about video projects at this point we want to go ahead and save this project this video project with a unique project name go up to the upper left hand corner on the drop down menu and click save project as by default Microsoft Windows gives every project the same um, default project name of my movie and we want to give our project a unique project name I'm going to call ours uh, My Movie um, About Wildlife. And I'm going to be saving that in the videos folder or the videos library. And I'm going to click OK or save actually. All right. And at this point, I have a unique name for my project, My Movie About Wildlife. It's important to give your project a unique name so that once you exit out of uh, Movie Maker you can open up your um, Movie Maker project and um, continue editing. Okay at this point um, after adding the files and the videos that I want I am now able to proceed to editing my movie and that will be shown in part two.